Good evening from Mission Control in Houston and the International Space Station Flight Control Room here at the Johnson Space Center. You are looking live at a far field view of the uncrewed Roscosmos Soyuz MS-23 spacecraft less than 10 kilometers away from the International Outpost in the home stretch of its two-day journey to the International Space Station in this critical mission as the replacement spacecraft for the damaged Soyuz MS-22 vehicle that incurred a leak in its cooling system back on December 14th, rendering it usable only for emergency evacuation purposes. Now our first view of the uh, Soyuz MS-23, the uncrewed Soyuz, less than 15 meters away from docking to the Poisk module. Moving into an orbital sunrise, flying over southern Russia. Excellent visual of the target. It's a little bit below and to the left from the center, across here is a land. The crew verifying uh, the alignment uh, of the Soyuz forward docking probe to the Poisk module. On the uh, aligned with the docking port. Uh, the range is about nine meters. Copy. Inside 10 meters now. Uh, range is uh, 6 meters. 6 meters away, the, standing by for contact and capture. Copy. The target is slightly to the right. Uh, 3 meters waiting for contact. Copy. Uh, the target is one cell below, waiting for contact, and we're lo looking for capture. Contact. Con contact confirmed. And capture. Docking confirmed. Indicator mode. At 6.58 p.m. Confirm. Central Time, 7.58 p.m. Eastern Did Time. Did you see the message on the left As, of the, uh, the International Space Station yes, and Soyuz MS-23 flew 260 Copy. miles over northern Mongolia. Sergei Dima, Anya, congratulations with successful docking. Thank you so much for excellent work done. Uh, all right. And the Anya, docking probe now beginning to you retract. You have more activities ahead of you. The, okay, now I'm handing the mic to. It couldn't have gone Ignat. smoother from we'll launch to docking. The, interface leak check the new ride the field home field for Frank Rubio, Sergei Prokopiev, yes, and Dmitry Patelin has arrived at the and International Space Station.